Hi everybody, welcome to Project Beauty where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. I'm updating you guys on Deca Panning. If you are familiar with this project, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. If not, I highly recommend you check out Emily's intro. I will have that link down below along with more information. So please go ahead and check it out there. But this is the second round and we're going into the third. So hopefully we do this a third time. I love this project. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to go into the whole spiel. So go ahead and check out Emily and Max. I'll have, like I said, I'll have her link down below and the intro will be there. And I'm sure she's got a playlist of this. So please go ahead and check that out. Um, but deck of panning. So I'm going to show you guys my progress that I have for the months. The first item I have is for a brand you own one of. And that was my Maybelline Brow Tattoo tattoo studio brow pomade <laughs> in the shade deep brown and I really thought I was going to have this done by now but I still have a little bit left not too bad so it should take me another month or two to get that completed um I'm trying to wear makeup more often but also I've gotten sick a lot more this year than previous years um I say that but I before the pandemic this was pretty standard for me and so it's just taking up a lot of time for me to wear wear makeup and stuff. So when I get the chance, I'm just like, put it on my face. Um, hence today's look. Putting it on my face. So I'm trying to settle down the brow um, just a little because I'm going into winter, fall, whatever, losing my tan. So a thicker, bushier brow with more bronzy makeup. I'm kind of letting that go and going for a more precise brow now, um, which I really enjoy. So we're almost there. We were at 31.42 and we're now at 31.23. So we got a little bit of usage and I use this every single time I do my makeup. The next one is a baked product. And for that, I have my Kosas powder, powder foundation, powder foundation. What the? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> my powder foundation. Even that sounds wrong now. <laughs> Um, but that one I ended up completing. So that is done and will be going into my empties. So if you watch my empties video at the end of the month or the beginning of next, you will see that there. Uh, so the next one is my sentimental item. And that one is my Hindash Beautopsy palette from my beautiful friend Valerie at VMRT on Instagram. Please go ahead and check her out over there and give her a follow. Um, I really like this a lot. It's got beautiful colors. All of these are colors that I adore. And I'm just playing sentimental with this. It is exactly selected for what the prompt is. Um, I'm doing that again where I'm like cradling it and not using it because I don't want it to go anywhere. But I need to just get those last three uses out and I should be able to do that by the next update. So I have seven out of ten, which is great. The next one I have is the Whole Collection Roulette, which is my e.l.f. Putty Primer. I've only used this once. I'm not going to go ahead and open it because it's only one use. There's not really much to look at. But I'm using four primers, or I have four primers in projects, and I'm only using one of them right now, and i am almost done it. So I'm really working hard to get that done before the end of September. Um, and then this one and another one will be my primary focuses. Uh, because this one I want 10 uses on and that should be relatively easy enough to hit within a month, hopefully. So even if I share amongst, it would take two months, I would hope, to get this one out. So I'm trying to make things um, easy enough to roll out by the end of the year. But also, I'm not going to be rolling anything in for the one that I do have this month because I have a lot going on already. And I just need to give myself a breather and I'll bring something in next time. So that's why you're not seeing my game board right now. Um, the next item I have is the hair care item. And this is the Scruples Shine Spray. I absolutely love it. We started up here. I was using it rather faithfully. And then I sort of like fell off from it. And this is where we're at now. So just like a, a hint of a line underneath. Now where I'm at, it says 52.31. We were at 55.37 from the last time I wrote down and I don't know that I even wrote something down um on last time I think that might be for I don't even remember honestly it might be for this update and then I just made a line and didn't weigh it so I don't know but it wasn't even much to make a line so I'm just writing the weight down and moving on um there's only this much product left and I did use it today so hopefully 
Hopefully I can get this done by the end of the year, but if not, I'm not too worried about it. Even if I make enough progress just to get down to here, that's fine. I can put it in a project next year. It's all good. Um, and then we have the eyeshadow, which is JD Glow Anomaly. The prompt was eyeshadow, so I chose JD Glow Anomaly, which is... Um, which is JD Glow Anomaly. Oh my gosh. Is it this one? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. So it's this beautiful purple one right here. I was going to put it on my eye right now, but I'm going to do it on screen. So I'm just going to take a tiny little bit on my finger and just sort of like place it in the center of my lid a little bit. Nothing too crazy, but I just wanted to show you guys just how much it makes your eyeshadow pop. I have enough makeup on right now, but I thought, what the heck, right? I'll show you guys just how easy it is to get that little extra oomph in your eyeshadow. It's really pretty. And it's just a little something. So yeah, JD Glow Anomaly. Very, very gorgeous. So this one, I have a usage goal of five uses, and that was actually my fifth use. So that one is rolling out too. Again, I'm not bringing anything else in right now and I can actually put that one back. I can't believe it. I should probably move that aside so I can remember to put it away, but I was not expecting that. Totally did not even think about that. Um, this next one I'm really excited about. I can't remember when I told you guys about this or whatever. I think it was last update, but I had removed my in it for the long haul item and replaced it with a new item and I'm really glad that I did that because the previous item I only had 15 not even 15 uses 14 uses and then I ended up changing it because it had been in here for like since the beginning almost or whenever I pulled that prop I can't remember a couple months in but it had been in for long enough and I was only getting 14 uses on it and I thought I need to pull in something that I'm gonna actually grab for so what I did was I replaced the previous highlighter trio with this highlighter trio from Ofra. The trio is actually like in one single pan, but there's three different eye or eyeshadows, three different highlighters in here. And I wanted to get a hundred uses on this this year. Uh, and that's not including the previous usage, usage that I have from the previous highlighter palette. So on this one, I am already at 21 uses and I only pulled this in like a month and a half ago. So I think that's pretty damn good. I don't know that I'm going to reach 100 by the end of the year because there's only like October, November, December. I don't know that I'm going to pull that out, but there is potential to, and um, I would be happy with any amount of use. And this is probably going to be in until the end of the project anyway. Um, it would be amazing if I could see pan by the end of the year, and then maybe I could have this out next year. That would be fantastic if I could get another highlighter out of my collection. And I can't count that other one out until I finish that um, body moisturizer because that's what I put the other trio in was I put those in uh, moisturizer. So uh, until that's gone, I can't count those as empty either. So that may not be done until next year either. But it would be really nice to have four highlighters out and a body moisturizer for next year. Like I would be very pleased with that. Um, I do only count this as one highlighter because it is in one single pan. There's no separation between the three. It's all just like one baked pan. So I just count this as one where the other one was separate pans. I count that as three. Um, anyways, 21 uses already out of a hundred. So you can tell I grabbed toward this. I'm wearing it today. I really enjoy it. This is all three colors mixed together and it's like, really glowy. I have to be very careful of my neck, how much I'm moving around because I pulled my neck out recently, but um, really, really love this. And this is called Everglow from, it's a Nikki Tutorials and Ofra collab. Um, so, okay, we have one left and then I'm not going to bring any in. And I'm so sorry. I know you guys want to see me roll stuff in, but for my mental health purposes, I just cannot bring stuff in right now. I need to do me a solid and just give myself a month of grace. And next month I'll bring some stuff in. Okay. I promise you guys I'll bring some stuff in next month. Um, the last one I have is powder. And for that one, I selected the L'Oreal Infallible uh, 180, that's a number, 180 linen, and it's a foundation powder. So I wanted to bring in a drugstore powder because I've been using a lot of MAC and everything lately, and I thought, why not use a drugstore item? I have three of these in different shades because this one is my deepest shade 
um, for what matches me right now because I have a tan. So you can, I just swatched it on my hand. You can't even see where it is. It's a perfect match for my skin. Like you can, it's kind of a little bit light when I swatched it there, but it's pretty much a perfect match for my skin. And I really like this, but I've only used it two times so far out of 15 because I wanted to finish the Kosas powder. And I've also been using um, a bit of, uh, what do you call that now? You know, the loose, the loose powder from, um, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me right now? Uh, Makeup Forever. So I've been using a few different like base powders in lieu of this one because this is only 15 uses and I have until December to use it. So I may grab toward this a few times a month just to give myself those uses, but I don't need to grab it for one month completely. Um, so I'm okay with that. So out of this, I have two rollouts and I still have one, two, three, four, five, six items in. Uh, I think that's okay. Six items is a good amount to work on. Uh, I'm going to be a little more, um, what do you call that? I'm going to be a little more easy on myself moving forward for projects. I've been bringing every single prompt in for a few. And I've also been bringing, instead of like six, bringing in like 13 or bringing in a bigger amount. And I think that's just more detrimental to my panning progress than I would like. And I want to make sure that I keep my updates exciting for you guys. But also we need to remember that any progress is good progress. So I really, I don't want to be that person that's like, you know, squeezing to get to pan just to show you guys that I could hit a pan on something. I don't want to waste my stuff. I just want to use it organically. And I want everyone to remember that we don't, just because we're panning doesn't mean we have to have these lofty goals that we meet in a very short time frame. I'm giving myself a lot of grace and I'm really proud of all the progress that I've made. And um, I think having like really exciting updates is a big thing. Obviously people want to see that rollouts and new, some new stuff coming in and things. But I think we also have to remember that even if we don't have something rolling out, we are still using our stuff and we have to remember that that's okay too. So um, I do have two rollouts, but I'm okay with everything for now. And I will share that with you next time. I will roll stuff in next time, but I really appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody.